What's going on everybody? This is Elijah Mendiola and I am about to talk to you guys about the one and only John Perchucci Music Man 7 String Arctic Dream. Bam! Y'all ready for this? So it comes with the hard shell case. Comes with keys to the case. Ah, it says Majesty right there. And I'm gonna talk to you guys about things that aren't on the other YouTube videos that I haven't found. And I had a hard time dealing with certain things because I guess people decided to leave out the details. So look at that beauty. Look at those things that still frets. Oh. Ebony fretboard, stainless steel frets, mirror inlays, matte black piezo bridge, nice case, it comes with this little baggie here, and I'm going to show you what's inside. <clears throat> the whammy bar is matte also, which is cool, so it's not slippery when you grab it, and it has a little pin. Okay, so it's not a set screw. Well, it is a set screw, but in a different way. So, here's the thing that no one talks about. And it took me hours to find this out on a small forum in one sentence. So, pay attention. You know, your whammy bar, it's loose, like it spins around, and you want to set it to a certain spot? Well, this one, when I first got it, so you, you, know, you just push it in, like that. So when I first got it, it was loosey-goosey spinning all over the place, but now it's tighter. And I couldn't figure out why on earth it was doing that. So what you do is, you put it in, and then you get a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench smallest one pretty much and you press it in like this you can't see it but under that is the set screw so push your whammy bar down and there's a set screw under there and you can see it with some light but trust me it's under there and then you just it's about right here and then you tighten it and it makes this tighter and that one thing I couldn't find out on any website or any YouTube video. So, there's a secret. Uh, I want to talk to you about some other stuff. I'm having some trouble with the pinging noise. You hear that? When you bend it. This neck is a little... Say flimsy, but it's just one solid piece, so it's like it's fragile almost. But man, does it play good! But my G string, B string, and high E string are all falling out soon, and it's very frustrating because I have a other uh, JP Ninja Man 7 and it does not fall out too. They're telling me that it's the strings need to be stretched. I guess that's this kind of deal. But I'm getting a weird ping noise and it bothers the shit out of me. But see, stretch them out a little bit. I'm, I got some uh, bins, big bins, nut stuff, uh, nut glue. I'm gonna put that in here and hopefully that'll stop it from uh, falling out too. So, I heard the neck gets a little bit out of place and you have to adjust it right there with the truss rod. I haven't done it yet, hopefully I never do. The pickups are freaking crunchy and clear as hell. 
the piezo sounds awesome in the in rare you put it in the piezo. Bam, you got an acoustic. And also, people don't talk about it much, but when you put it this one in the middle and you press this knob out, you're activating these two pickups. And it sounds pretty cool. It sounds like a really good fender. It's got a little bit of a, a looseness to it. Like a single coil looseness. And it sounds cool, man. I like it a lot. I use it actually more than what I thought I would. It's got the carbon fiber shield. These straps, things. You can't put a locking strap on there. You have to replace them. So I'm gonna do that very surgically and replace those with lock nuts. I'm really scared, but if you screw them in, if you screw it in straight as possible and uh, don't over tighten it, just snug it and stop, you should be okay. These tuning knobs have little rubbers around them for also when you turn it, you, they're not slippery. Because I guess Petrucci gets all sweaty and you know that stuff. So he likes to uh, make sure that, see this is matte. So that way you don't got no slippage. Um, all, other than that, man, I don't have no complaints. It's awesome, beautiful. It was a lot of money, but I have to say it was worth it. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Elijah. And please uh, get on thoughtuprising.com. That's my blog. And like it or uh, share it or um, follow it, please. Because I don't have Facebook and stuff. And uh, I'm off the grid with that. And so, yeah, this is it. Let me show you real quick what comes in the bag. You get this cool Ernie Ball sticker and instrument polish. The, oh, and I got it from Sweetwater. So Sweetwater did a good job sending it to me. Uh, they were real cool about everything. It comes with two extra springs. And it comes with keys. So, all right guys, thank you for watching.